We're following recent reports out of Connecticut where New Haven Police Chief says 15 people have overdosed in the last 45 minutes. It's suspected to be due to K2 or synthetic weed. We're going to listen in. Doctor, could you give us your name again and spell it for us, please? I'm Dr. Bogutsky, B-O-G-U-C-K-I. And I'm Sandy. I'm the EMS medical director. Can you spell your first name? Sandy, S-A-N-D-Y. Okay, thank you. Um, how, I saw your paramedics running around the green. I mean, literally sprinting to patients. What kind of response was this for you? Did this strain your resources? It does strain the resources of the city and the fire department, the police department, um, as well as um, EMS. Um, the um, AMR crews were having to um, run and, and then um, resuscitate, uh, and they were having to transport um, faster than they might normally uh, just to turn the cars around and, and get them back out. We did get excellent um, assistance from the um, hospital with directing ambulances so that neither of the emergency departments was overwhelmed. Um, and we did have um, some very critical patients. Uh, there have been, um, as uh, Rick and the Chief uh, mentioned, there have been no fatalities uh, thus far Doctor, uh, in follow-up. Can you explain what K2 is? Um, it's a synthetic um, cannabinoid that's uh, related to marijuana, uh, and that's uh, it's, it's made um, informally, uh, so it can be all different kinds of chemicals. Um, frequently, it's laced with other things. Um, we heard from people on the green this morning that it potentially included PCP, um, and some of the um, reactions of the patients in the emergency department would suggest that there was an opioid involved as well. We don't even know that all patients uh, received the same uh, drug, or uh, it's too too soon to speculate about any of that. Has the like DEA been contacted? Not as of yet. How about with, with Narcan? Uh, Single doses, multiple doses to get folks to, back to consciousness? High doses. I, I heard that the Narcan didn't help some patients, though, too. Is that Here right? on the green, Narcan did not do anything. Um, in the hospitals where they received much higher doses um, over a period of time, um, there was clinical improvement. We can't say that that um, is absolutely predictive of what was contained um, in the in the substance. Is there a concern Are we talking that there's men, a women, all age it, here about the patients? In these all, all different ages. Um, there were several types and across the entire demographic span. But even while we've been here, the Chief Vendetto just received reports, we have two additional uh, overdoses in, uh, in the surrounding areas. So that's more than 15 now? That'll be more than 15. Yeah. So, Chief, can you say, are, yeah. are you guys concerned about a new strain of this uh, K2? If the Narcan is not working any longer, does that suggest that this is a more uh, potent batch of it? Sure. The only way that we can tell is when the toxicology reports come back and we compare it to uh, the experience that we had over the summer when we had a, a large surge of this type of uh, incident. And uh, that's the only way that we, we can do that. Chief, so. question, Chief, question for you. There's more need to be done about stopping the sale and distribution of this here on the green. So we'll see ambulances down here all the time. Uh, does this, the police need to step up enforcement, sir? I'll leave that for the police to answer that question. Come on, you know, just, just, well, what, just what is the, but we can also say it's a it's a nationwide problem. Let's 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 address it that way. It's a nationwide problem that people are self-medicating for several different reasons, and every agency, police, fire, medical, hospitals, all are strained at this time. This is a problem that's not going away, and we're, we've been in discussion and studies. Uh, this past summer, we, we were grateful to have a Yale presidential uh, fellow uh, intern who studied the problem for us and came up with some suggestions for us as a city. But nationwide, this is an issue for every city, every agency. What were the Chief, symptoms? Chief, folks just it? passing out, vomiting? What were you, what were you, what were you guys coming There were about? several. There were some that were unconscious, some were, the, were nauseous, um, uh, lethargic, um, some in respiratory duress. So. I saw some people convulsing. Mm -hmm. My question, I, I see all the medical and emergency people here, but what is the role of police here? How are you guys working cooperatively? Say so we're getting another call of a person. Can, yeah, if you want to just get someone on the radio. Yeah, we got it. Thank you. Okay, we've got it. Also, we've got it. Also, just, just, just some information. I think that's critically important here. As soon as the New Haven Police Department found out about what was going on last night, we had police officers here performing their duties. There was arrest this morning on the green. 
making sure that the police department is doing as much as they can do. So it, this is not like, this is not unanswered. It's answered by the New Haven Police Department, the New Haven Fire Department, and American Medical Response, uh, the, the police department. I'll let them talk to, to what they've done. But again, they were here this morning cr creating what we want to see, making sure that people that were selling drugs were in fact arrested and taken into the station for processing. So with that yeah, said- How many arrests have been made? You know? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't have that there exact have information. Arrests. Have there been any arrests? There's been uh, one arrest made. It was actually an infraction um, given to uh, one of the individuals that we uh, stopped on the green. But at this point, it's still under investigation. We're holding the crime scene, so I, I can't elaborate on any other uh, further investigation at this time. And we also know in their presence, it's a visible deterrent. Uh, we also, as we saw the apex of this incident, we also saw the decline when the PD were here. So, thank you. Thank you.